That's it. Go on, Nige. You can do this. You're smashing it. You're doing so good, so good. Yeah, just get it all, get it all on there. You're doing so good. What? I'm afraid you've got this. Have to quite a bit to try and uh, tidy up that plate a bit. Uh, very good. <laughs> I'm proud of us. We did very well. No. Apologies if that's put you off your porridge or your cornflakes. Interestingly, Nigel wasn't voted to do tonight's next challenge. Nella Rose will do that. But it seems like he's got his hands full anyway. It only took 48 hours and he's already been confronted about Brexit. Uh, first of all, by uh, First States match for day, Fred Syriex, who's a, a French citizen living in the UK and obviously working in the UK. Uh, Fred accused Nigel who's a staunch Remainer, by the way, um, of demonising migrants. Nigel snapped back by calling him daft. And uh, this is some of the best bits of their debate in camp from last night. The thing is, is the intolerance that came because Brexit was about immigration. And I remember your poster, yeah. which I thought, well, how, I thought it well, was shameful what you did, Nigel. Sadly, shameful. sadly, it was absolutely true. What was the poster, sorry? Can I just cut in? Can you educate It was a, a poster just showing mass young men moving illegally through across borders. But it was about demonising right, migrants. And saying that that and was wrong. No, it wasn't. I mean, in your view it was, but it wasn't. But it's not only just my view. I also uh, won't show you this last clip because it's probably the worst of them all, but one of the funniest moments of last night's episode was uh, Nigel Farage taking a shower in the waterfall, ITV's Josie Gibson walking past, stopping and catching a glimpse of his, uh, his exposed bottom, should we say. Um, made great TV, but as I said, that's probably the worst of the lot, so I'm not going to show you a clip of it. We've got nearly three more weeks of this, so uh, if it's anything as, uh, as good as last night, we're in for a, a right treat. Gosh, if you describe his bottom as a right treat, you're a funny old fellow, Ben, I must say. <laughs> um, thank you so much for that. Um, goodness me, I, I just don't know about you, Eamon. I just couldn't eat any of those things. He did really well on that task. You have to eat them. Well, or you get voted out. So he did well for his campmates. He'll have got all those stars. Um, interesting he hasn't been voted back in to do the challenge this evening as well. I wonder why that might be. Mm. Uh, ben, thank you very much. So it was a nipple treat that we had there today, mm. different types of nipples. And I, I think it was better the way Ben put it as his, the reproductive organs of the crocodile. I was a bit more explicit. Sorry, mm. apologies about that. OK, well... <laughs>